Hi, Kara. We're going to take off in the F-15. I decided to give you a little look around, and this is actually the uh, the route I took uh, in the back in 1967, I believe. Could have been 66, 67. It's a 1966 Comanche B, and it. Uh, it was a Piper, and it got along about 180 miles, 185 miles an hour at best. Uh, normally aspirated, uh, 260 horse engine, and this is where we took off from. So we departed there, and then we we went over to uh, St. Thomas, which. They got a different name on here. It's, uh, it takes a takes a while to figure out where I'm going. At first, I thought this was where I was going, but uh, it was just a 30-minute flight in the Comanche. So, anyway, I want to fly up and down the island a little bit before I land in this this thing. I won't be using too much afterburner. And I thought when we take off from uh, San Juan, we'll. Uh, We'll go uh, past the fort at the protecting the mouth of the floor of the harbor. When they built that, I don't know. You have to look that up. That might have been back in the 1500s, at least uh, 1600s. I don't think it was 17, but anyway, it goes back to the sailing ship days. So here's our destination set as arrival, and it shows uh, 84 nautical miles, which uh, at uh, three miles a minute, you you did do that in a half hour. Of course, we probably did a little bit of looking around when we did it. Now this time, it'll take a little less than 21 minutes. But anyway, we don't have to fool around anymore. You got the idea. <clears throat> gotta clear my throat. I don't know where this is. I know it's not the world's shortest mountain range because uh, that one supposedly is up uh, next to Marysville called the Sutter Buttes and it's about half half that distance the Sutter Buttes and these those those mountains look a little higher than the Sutter Buttes too San Juan Tower 527 Bravo okay. Charlie Ready and Runway 28 West Departure and I want to Look, look at my airspeed. So that's what I'm going to look at for landing. So they're taking us off to the west. And I think that's all I need. Just get the brakes off here. Go straight out to the harbor, which is to the west. And we'll let you take this look. Whoop. <laughs> I put the brakes on. I just noticed that my controls every once in a while they uh, they somehow disconnect themselves so I have to reach over unplug plug it back in if you heard that little little bell sound okay new device detected keep default so that should do it and we uh, go ahead and resume right there <clears throat> now we got got everything working that's what I wanted to see was that and we can come up and take the brakes off because we we want to stay low if we turned on the afterburner we'd be up to 10,000 feet before you know it so we'll just come up just under the turning on the afterburner now we're about ready to fly <laughs> the tires are skipping a little bit. I think this is the first time I took off without the afterburner. Flaps up, gear up. Seven Bravo Charlie, continue for west departure. Okay. Seven Bravo can... Charlie, leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Take a little look like that. And say, say, say goodbye to them. Here's an aircraft going in the other, the other direction. Clear to 
on tower 527 Bravo Charlie frequency change. So we'll look at the uh, the fort. I believe it's right here out here at the entrance to the harbor. Looks like a container operation right there. Oh, another airport right there. Huh. All right. All right. Yep, there it is. Yeah. Defending the harbor. Okay, now kick it. Kick it in the tail. Get on over to St. Thomas. We don't have to get up any higher. We'll take a look back at the uh, same one. American Niner 67, turn next taxiway. We'll pass the airport again. Hold. And altitude hold. See if that holds our altitude. So we don't have to. We don't have to fight. It only takes a little pressure to change change the uh, change the altitude. And we'll come around to the right here a little. So we we'll stay at four thousand feet. And now we'll bring up our chart. See where we're going. And we're right, right on it. Right on the money here. Yep, that one didn't show quite on the money. We'll come come left here just a little bit. Yeah, so that's the that's where I thought we were going, but we'll just fly right by there. And we could uh, we could could change this to our Easterly heading. There we go. Go ahead, hit the heading hold. Got to turn us to the left, but I do want to take a look at this island right there. And I can see we're going a little, chewing off a little more than we want. So we'll bring it back around here. There we go. Yeah, that's almost, that's almost it. 110, 120. Okay, let's take a quick look at the island we just passed. Yeah, a little, little population over there on that. On that. Now we're heading for. Uh, 
our destination. Yep. Turn off the turn off the uh, rocket. And we'll fly down down the island. Take a look at look at where we're gonna land. St. Thomas. the airport so we'll make a run down at the end of the island come back or around and land and straight in like I did uh, 50 years ago No idea where the beaches are. I, when I went over there, I didn't go to the beach. We just went downtown, and uh, my two lady friends uh, bought a few things. I can't remember what we bought. Okay, now we're going to turn off the autopilot. We're going to start coming around, and in a minute we'll come back on the power. Start slowing down. Pretty harbor. Right into the sun, but we're we'll have the sun behind us when we when we go back, so we'll just come out here, look this way, wave to the folks. And if we want to slow down, we got a little speed brake here. Get get that up to s slow us down to. under 200 and the end runway just went out of sight we'll start start slow turn get rid of the spoiler put the wheels and the flaps down come up a little bit on the power Let's see how it looks in here. So I want to, I want to use this for, for my landing. Look outside. Well, 
about 150, 150 to 160. Seems to be where it uh, it likes to likes to land. Get a little better lined up here. <laughs> Looks like an airplane right on the runway. We'll, we'll land right next to him. Oop. Get over in there. There we go. goes right over us. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> of course they don't they don't uh, see see us. That uh, that's supposedly real time aircraft. Okay, so that's your your trip to uh, St. Thomas with a little excitement on the landing. Uh, threw, threw a little curve at me but uh, it's not real so it, it wasn't much of a curve <laughs> all right heading back at the sun I think we've seen enough so we'll we'll go ahead and uh, put the brakes on go back in the cockpit and we hit a couple of couple of little switches there that'll shut her down we can open the cockpit here we go and yeah, we'll look, look look back into uh, town tell them tell them to send out a uh, Cuba Libra Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good trip down there. Bye-bye.